Hey, welcome back. Today we're talking about computers. So I got this thing about seven years ago. This is a Lenovo Legion. And at the time I had a very low budget and really wanted to play video games. You can see what it looks like here. Oh, I forgot about the stickers on the inside. To make this story short, this thing sucked. So I used this thing for about three years and got to the point where it literally like wouldn't work even. The battery for some reason in three years drained to where it would last like 40 minutes in a full on a full charge. So it was really bad. And this of course is a Windows computer. So I was like, hey, I use Photoshop and Premiere Pro and edit videos all the time. And I was like, you know what? A Mac looks super cool. And was like, you know what? I think I want a Mac. So then I got this right here. I've had this MacBook Pro for about four years now. I made a couple videos on it. Uh, when I got this thing, and this thing has been absolutely incredible. It's actually held up really well. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stickers on it. It looks so sleek and very modern still. And for the first three years, it was absolutely amazing. Gave me zero problems at all. I still absolutely love this thing, by the way. But it started to do some weird things. The battery life on it dropped to like 87% out of 100. And when I got this new camera about, what, two or three months ago, I found out that this MacBook from 2020 didn't really like editing it or even looking at the raw photos it made, which I'm really picky when it comes to stuff. And this thing does it okay. But like, if I want to look at a single raw photo, if I click the preview, it takes about three seconds to actually load the raw photo, which is only three seconds. But when you need to look at eight photos, it kind of drives me crazy. But this thing has been a beast and it's done so well, but I was like, yeah, it's time for an upgrade. So I was looking at Apple's current lineup. Of course, this is a M1 chip, not an M1 Pro chip. It's just an M1 chip, MacBook Pro from the end of 2020. And Apple's current lineup is they have the M3 chip, the M3 Pro, the M3 Max, and then the M3 like Giga chip or something. I have no idea. To sum up the chips really fast, the normal M3 chip is more than enough for pretty much everything I do. The M3 Pro chip is way overkill for anything I'm gonna do. And the M3 Max is is like, why would you ever even get that? And that's my super technical conclusion from all the research that I've done. But I decided to get the 2023, which is the newest MacBook Pro with the M3 Pro chip, which is again, more than I need, but it's really cool and it comes in a super cool color. And of course, if I'm filming, that means I got it right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up. Um, I'm really excited to see it because this is a sleek looking laptop. Like the MacBooks always just look amazing. And for some reason when they change the designs up, they're always really similar, but they somehow look even better. So yeah, that's what we got in here. The M3 Pro MacBook Pro. And I'm also gonna compare it to my old one, like load some raw files and just see the comparison. But I'm super excited for this computer because it is a ridiculous beast. Also very expensive, but it's a beast. All right, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Also, funny enough, I bought this from the FSU bookstore, which is Florida State University bookstore. Um, for some reason, they had a sale and they sell high-end MacBooks, which is interesting. Also makes me slightly suspicious because I wonder if I got scammed or not, but we're gonna find out. All right, we have another box. All right, so this box right here is super heavy, so um, I hope the MacBook's not crazy heavy. Hoo -hoo. Boom, here is our M3 Pro MacBook Pro. I don't know why they make you say Pro twice in the title. This is a cool unboxing. I guess ordering from a college bookstore is actually cool because this is definitely it. This box is super heavy. I'm gonna cover the serial number, but you can see all the specs here. Um, I only got a 512 gigabyte one because it was actually like $200 for the terabyte, but you know, it'll get me by. This is the 14 inch MacBook Pro with 18 gigs of RAM, which is really weird, but really cool. This being a newer MacBook Pro means it has the um, new display with 120 Hertz display on it. I'm really excited. All right, I guess I should stop stalling. Let's just open this thing. Whew. Apple really has the best packaging. All right, now that this thing is devalued, let's open her up. Oh my gosh, this thing. Maybe I'm just sensitive right now, but this thing feels really heavy. MacBook Pro. And this is their new, I believe, first ever black MacBook, so. Ho, ho, ho. Dang. This thing looks sick. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. And then also in the box, we have the MagSafe charger in a black braided cable, which is really sick. And then there are probably Apple stickers in here. And then we have the 70 watt charging brick. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing for the first time. Wow, this is a beautiful looking laptop, my gosh, okay. Whoa. Oh, did you hear the, the ding? Oh my gosh. This thing is now opened up and 
Wow, look at that screen. Holy moly, that is crisp and that is a big screen. Okay, I can tell the I can tell the 120 hertz. Okay, right, well I'm gonna go ahead and walk through setting this thing up and um Wow, this is this is a beautiful laptop, but we're gonna put this thing through its paces. Of course, nothing near what this thing's capable of, but we're gonna have some fun with it. So let me set it up and I'll be back in a second. All right, so it's now dark out because I've been messing with this thing for hours now. Of course, I had to transfer everything over from my old Mac to this Mac, and that took like an hour and a half wirelessly, which is actually pretty fast because I have about 300 gigabytes that went straight onto this already. So after me using it for a couple hours, can I notice a difference compared to my old one? 100% yes. To be honest, when I got this, for some reason, I thought it would be something where I was like absolutely amazed. I'm like, wow, it's completely different and incredible. It's not really the case. You know, this thing is a MacBook and then this thing's a MacBook. They have the same operating system. There's nothing re really unique. And I took every from, from this one and put it straight on this one. So it kind of felt the same. But when it comes to speed and performance, this thing is crazy different. Just going over some initial cosmetic things that I noticed, just in case you were thinking of going from an M1 to an M3, which probably not, but just in case. This one is the 13 inch old one from 2020. This one is the new 14 inch. Um, size comparison wise, you can see that way it's a slight difference. So it's a little bit wider. When it comes to how thick it is, um, I'm going to put some footage on top. You can see it's very slight. So when it comes to comparing these two, everything is just slightly bigger on this one. Also, this one is actually substantially heavier. This one's actually pretty light. This one, it's kind of like fatiguing to hold it like this. But once you open this thing up, I mean, this screen is just ridiculously good on it. It's very noticeable between the high resolution on this one and the 120 hertz compared to the old lower res with 60 hertz. It's a night and day difference. So let me show you some comparison stuff here. When it comes to ports, you do not get a lot on the old MacBook Pro. You get two USB-C ports. One of those is take, taken out by the charging cable, and then you get a headphone jack, and that's literally all the ports you get on this thing. When it comes to this guy, I don't know if I showed it yet, but you get, oh, that's not good. <laughs> you get the MagSafe charging port, you get the two USB-C ports, the headphone jack, and then on this side, you get a bonus USB-C port, a HDMI, which is crazy, and an SD card, which I love this. The MagSafe is super cool. I didn't realize, but that, that little dot right there is a light, so when you plug it in, um, you can see it's green because I have it fully charged at the moment. It's kind of hard to like pull straight out, but if you just do it in an angle, it comes right off. It's so cool. All right, now I'm gonna open these guys up and compare them a little bit. All right, now let's open these guys up and compare them. You can see the screen on that one, you know, that's fine. And then you open this guy up and it's like, holy moly. So keep in mind that this whole laptop is just a little bit bigger. You can see the size difference there. It's pretty minimal. You can see my finger there, right? But the screen is so, it's like substantially bigger. Like, look at that difference. Let me full screen this tab. Never seen that channel before. The screens kind of start at the same spot down here, but like, look how much more height you get on this thing. And I really like, it looks really good how the screen is like curved on display here rather than just this cut. Um, when you compare these two, this one looks so antiquated. I'm not gonna try to give you an example of the refresh rate because this camera's not gonna pick it up because no matter how you watch this, it's gonna be in 24 frames a second. Um, let me show you opening up Premiere Pro because this thing is way faster. Of course, this thing has 10 more gigs of RAM, but okay, boom. That one already loaded. Wait for it. There we go. What, what was that? Like a one and a half second, two second difference. But when it's two seconds faster for every single thing you do, it really does make a difference and it feels so much smoother to use. This is a very impressive laptop. <clears throat> so on my channel, I don't really go over specs anymore or anything because there's so many incredible videos that I really feel like I don't have anything to offer when it comes to like, oh, you know, this one exports in five minutes when this one does five minutes and 24 seconds. And it's just like, I don't know. I feel like there are people that just make way better videos than me when it comes to that. But I can show you just differences like this. Also, this one doesn't have the touch bar anymore. Uh, good riddance. I did not like. So when I first got this touch bar, it was cool. Whenever you want to adjust the volume or anything, this touch bar is black. So normally you have to tap it to wake and then you have to hit that little tiny button there and then you can drag the free slider, which the free slider is cool. So you have to hit three things normally to get there. When it comes to the MacBook, you just hit the volume. It's so, it's so much better in my opinion. Also, the trackpad is actually just about the same um, because where you get the extra thickness is where they take away the thin touch bar and put normal size um, function keys up there. But the keys on this one are a little bit like, I don't know if you can hear, here's the old one. It almost sounds gummy when this one's... 
The keys on this are a little bit more clickier. Same with the touchpad. I don't know. This one's just nicer. Uh, maybe it's because this one's old and I've worn the crap out of it. But yeah, both these laptops are absolutely amazing. This one's done me incredible. And if you're just someone who browses emails and watches YouTube videos and does general college stuff, like you're writing essays and stuff, this thing does absolutely incredible because I've done a lot of that stuff on this and it still holds up to today. It does really well. But if you're doing actual things where you're editing high quality footage or high quality photos or doing graphic design or anything like that, you're going to notice a difference. Even though it's not that much more substantial, this laptop for being almost four years old holds up extremely well but if you can swing it this thing is pretty amazing and i'm really happy with my purchase even though it's not the most striking thing ever if you're going from windows to mac and you got the m3 pro you would be absolutely blown away but since i'm already used to the operating system and everything it's not that crazy and of course you get benefits with the new one and to be honest with you i'm not really taking advantage of the extra ram for the task that i'm doing um sucky thing about a mac is you still can't really play any games i mean you can play like terraria and stuff but you can't really play anything epic but when it comes to like exporting videos and stuff um the m3 pro is gonna export probably three minutes faster than the m1 pro so it's not that much of a difference but just the general quality of life changes that the updated chip will provide me is worth it to me this is probably a little bit more of a boring video. Uh, I just like to make these videos just to document things that I do because I'll probably look back at this video in four years when I get my next laptop and be like, oh yeah, man, that was really cool back then. Or I'll keep this one for a hundred years because it's pretty amazing. To be honest with you, I don't really see needing a laptop that does much more than this other than plays video games because this thing is so overpowered for everything I do. I would say I'm safe for at least five years on needing a new computer. Although when I see the new shiny one they come out with in three years from now, I'll probably be like, oh, I need that one now. But hopefully you guys found this video helpful maybe or just enjoyed watching. Um, if you actually own one of these, if the only problem you're having with it is that the battery life's dying a little bit, to be honest with you, I would probably recommend keeping this thing for a little while longer, at least until the M4 comes out. Anyway, I kind of already did an outro, but thanks for watching this long, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.